Back now at 644, let's do consumer headlines now. When you order seafood at a restaurant, you might not be getting what you paid for. Yeah, and a huge IRS scam targeting Americans has just been uncovered overseas. So this is big news. Indian police have arrested 70 people in connection with an IRS scam bust. Investigators say the scammers allegedly helped manage nine call centers where around 700 people made thousands of calls a day to the U.S., threatening Americans with jail time if they didn't pay up. Perhaps you've received one of these phone calls. Police raided the building's Tuesday night into Wednesday, and they have not given an estimate on how much money those operations netted. IRS officials have declined to comment on the raid so far. Well, it's National Seafood Month, but a recent report reveals 20% of the fish on the menu is not the fish on the menu. Ocean Conservation Group Oceana compiled research from 200 studies and found 20% of seafood sold worldwide is mislabeled. So the tuna you order could be something else entirely, or the wild caught salmon with a higher ticket price could be the cheaper farmed salmon. All right, after holding a focus group with a group of brutally honest kiddos, the makers of Jell-O have come out with a new more natural product. Several of them actually. It's called Jello Simply Good and it comes in gelatin and pudding mixes. Now these products are made with real ingredients like fruit juice, vanilla bean, banana, and cocoa. They're also made without artificial flavors, dyes, or preservatives. Now while the product has more natural ingredients, its nutritional content is still similar <laughs> to the original brand. That's not why Lots you eat it. I know, exactly. So I mean I'm wondering if the gelatin has no artificial dyes, is it all going to be just like Clear? It's the same color. <laughs> yeah, right. No it's color. like, sorry, you can't get the red jello. Natural color.